Howdy folks, I know it's kind of windy out here, uh, just a quick update what I'm up to today. Uh, got to put the uh, winter tires on my truck. So I just got in the garage, do some, what a freaking mess in here. Uh, I got to clear some stuff out. I'd like to do one of those uh, time lapse things where, uh, you know, you can watch me work and fast forward, but I have no idea how do people do that on these uh, video cameras. Uh, maybe someone can give me a, a tutorial on that. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to try doing that but no idea I guess I'm not that uh, that inclined on this electronic stuff and all these gizmos I just know how to push the button and talk into the camera so um, <clears throat> I got some real mess here to, to clean up I got uh, my snowblower those are my tires over there there's a tiller I've been working on and haven't uh, done anything with since and the beetle is in here oh not to mention what's underfoot. I have rope and tarps and uh, just a bunch of stuff when we were putting away the old camper van. Um, I gotta, gotta move all this shit out first. So, let's have at it. So last year I ran these tires um, all winter and uh, they're an all season tire and they were new and all the edges were nice and, and sharp and I mean clearly they're not a winter tire but uh, I got through the winter with them. Uh, this year uh, I'm using a little bit more of the gray matter and going to a winter tire. <laughs> Quite a bit of difference. Uh, all these little grooves that you see here are called sipes and they're what makes the getting going and getting wowed up all the difference uh, yeah quite a difference in tread patterns uh, with a little bit of weight in the back and these babies on back getting stuck well I live on quite a hill it's still possible but certainly gonna reduce the uh, chances Voila. Well that shit's done, let's move on to the next project. <laughs> 